All right. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I, that's probably the, the second or third time I've done that, where I've gone live, where I, where I meant to go in the stream yard. Uh, but it's Joey from the Utopian Baseball Universe. Uh, we're going to talk about the power rankings, the updated power rankings. Uh, we're going to share the schedule for this early week, uh, what games to expect on Xbox. We're going to talk about all-star ballots. We're going to talk about trivia. We're going to talk baseball cards. And tonight, uh, I'm not sure the exact time yet. We'll, we'll share that later in the afternoon. Tonight is the third Mets presentation for the Board Ninjas Woodworking Games. Uh, we're doing six of those this year. Tonight is Red Sox Mets from City Field. Um, so we'll share that time later in the afternoon. Uh, I want to try to figure out the day first. Um, let's get right to the power rankings first. Um, at number 32, we've got the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, 27 and 42 run differential of negative 37. They just dropped two of three, uh, to the next team on the list, the Seattle Mariners at number 31, uh, Seattle Mariners are 26 and 43. They actually have the worst record, but uh, because they beat the Diamondbacks these uh, last two out of three, I, I put them slightly ahead of the Diamondbacks for now. Uh, number 30, the Expos, last place in the East, 28 and 41. Uh, 10 and 23 away from Bronfman Field. Uh, I believe they have the worst run differential in the entire universe right now, negative 76. And I can confirm that is the case. Uh, number 29, the Yankees, uh, just, again, not scoring runs. Uh, they are dead last in the universe in scoring 247 runs. They're 29 and 40. Uh, they just got swept by Baltimore, uh, who's at number 28. 28 is the Baltimore Orioles, 30 and 39. Uh, run differential negative 36 for the Orioles. At number 27, the Brewers, uh, moving up some slots. They just swept the red-hot Cleveland Indians at Miller Park. Uh, they're in last place in the north at 30 and 39. They actually have a positive run differential of plus five, thanks to uh, several blowout victories over the last couple weeks. At number 26, we have the Oakland A's. They just got swept by the Angels. Uh, 25 is the Mets. They just got swept by the Nationals. And number 24, the San Diego Padres, uh, 33 and 36, uh, run differential negative 27 for the Padres. At number 23, we have the Washington Nationals, uh, fifth place in the East, eight games out. Uh, again, just sweeping the Mets, run differential of negative 33 for the Nationals. The Cubs, a lot of sweeps this weekend. Cubs swept the Tigers in Detroit. They're at number 22. The Red Sox are at number 21 at 32 and 37, seven games out in the East. Uh, the Royals, uh, the lowest of our South Division teams, they're at number 20. Uh, they're nine games out in the South. They're 33 and 36, uh, plus 20 in the run department, though. Uh, number 19, the Twins. 18, we have the Astros. At 17, we have the uh, highest scoring team in the universe, the Chicago White Sox. Uh, but they're giving up a lot of runs, too. They're playing a lot of softball-type games, you know, 11-8, 9-7 type games. Uh, they're eight games out in the north. The Florida Marlins at number 16, uh, 36 and 33, six games out in the south. And the Dodgers uh, at number 15. They're only two games back in the west. They just took two or three from the Giants. They're a game under 500 right now, but a run differential of negative 67. All right, as we go to the top 14 now, at number 14, we have the Angels. Just swept Oakland in Oakland. Uh, unusually bad at home, 13 and 20, but 22 and 14 on the road. Uh, the run differential is plus two. Tigers took a fall this week. They're uh, at number 13. They just got swept at home by the Cubs. Uh, they're five games back in the north. They're actually a fourth-place team right now. The Colorado Rockies are at number 12, one game back of the Giants in the West. The Cardinals are at number 11. They're in fifth place, but they're only four back of the Braves in the South. Uh, the West leading Giants are at number 10. The Durham Bulls are at number nine. They're only three games back in the South, uh, second in the league in scoring. 
349 runs, plus 27 in the run department. Cleveland and Cleveland Indians dropped out of the top five. They're at number eight. They got swept by Milwaukee this weekend. Uh, they're only four games back in the north. Uh, number seven, the Phillies. Do you remember the first couple weeks of the season? The Phillies were like 31, 30. They might have even been number 32. They're number seven right now. They're only a game back of the Blue Jays in the east. They hold a record of 38 and 31. Uh, run differential plus 47. They're just uh, getting it every which way. They... Uh, just lost two out of three uh, to Toronto, but they took the last game and they sit at number seven right now. And at number six, we have the Cincinnati Reds, uh, three games back in the North, 39 and 30, 20 and 13 at home, 19 and 17 on the road, plus 46 in the run department. Uh, let's get to our top five. Number five, the Texas Rangers, uh, 40 and 29, two games back in the South, 330 runs scored, which is top five in the universe. Uh, they just took two out of three from Florida in Miami. At number four, we have the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, they lead the East at 39 and 30, a uh, game ahead of the Philadelphia Phillies. Run differential of plus 33. They just took two out of three in Philadelphia. Uh, at number three, we got the Tampa Bay Rays, winners of five straight. They just swept Houston. They're just a game back of the Braves. 23 and 10 at home are the Tampa Bay Rays, a run differential of plus 57. Okay, uh, let me see if I can edit this before I show you. So I, I do a lot of things at once when I'm running this. And uh, for the number two team, I typed in the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's actually the Pittsburgh Pirates. That would be funny if the Steelers found a way to crack the top five of baseball league, but Pittsburgh Pirates falling from number one to number two. Uh, they still hold a three game lead in the North. Uh, they just dropped two or three at home to the White Sox. So the Pirates fall. They're, they're number two. They're still a very dangerous team. Plus 46 in the run department. And uh, the new number one, last year's champions, the Atlanta Braves, 42 and 27, a game lead on the Rays, 23 and 13 at home. 19 and 14 on the road, plus 53 in the run department. And actually they are, uh, I made a mistake earlier. I said the White Sox were the top scoring team. It's actually the Braves, 375 runs. Uh, so the Braves are the top team right now. All right. Uh, let's look at the schedule for this week. Uh, we've got East and North games kicking off today. Uh, and the West and South will kick off tomorrow. So as I mentioned earlier, we got the Red Sox and Mets tonight. Tonight will be the Board Ninjas woodworking game for the month of June. Um, I'd pro you know, I probably want to present that late tonight. Uh, we'll probably do that about 10 o'clock or so. They usually take about 45 minutes. Again, if you can't catch it live and you, and you want to see it later, we'll, we'll archive it. It'll be up on YouTube tonight. Uh, but uh, we're going to do that. Uh, we're probably going to do that later tonight. Red Sox and Mets, uh, board ninjas work, woodworking. Uh, we've got Phillies and Yankees kicking off tonight. We've got Blue Jays at the Orioles, uh, Expos at Nationals. Also tonight, we've got the Tigers at Brewers, Pirates at Twins, White Sox at Reds, Cubs at Indians. Uh, Monday Night Baseball on ABC is going to be the Blue Jays at the Orioles. There won't be an Xbox game today uh, in, in lieu of the Board Ninjas woodworking game. So no Xbox telecast today. Uh, in series that will kick off tomorrow, we've got the Giants at Mariners. Willie Mays versus Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. hit three homers yesterday, and he now leads the universe in homers He's actually tied with Henry Aaron with 15 homers uh, for the season. Oakland at San Diego kicks off tomorrow. We got the Angels at Rockies, Dodgers at Diamondbacks, uh, Rays at Bulls tomorrow, uh, Marlins at Braves, Rangers at Royals, and Astros at Cardinals. Uh, Tuesday night on ESPN, uh, it looks like we've got Expos at Nationals. Our Wednesday night showcase game is Rangers Royals. 
And Thursday afternoon baseball on ESPN is going to be the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. Our Xbox schedule for the week, uh, we're not going to have a game today. We're going to have uh, uh, White Sox at Reds tomorrow, Phillies and Yankees on Wednesday, and uh, Thursday afternoon, we're going to do Astros at Cardinals. Uh, so that's what the week looks like uh, coming up. Uh, let's just take a, look, a quick look at the standings. Right now we've got the uh, Blue Jays leading the East, leading the Phillies by one. The Red Sox are seven back. If the season were uh, to end right now, it would be the Red Sox at Phillies in the East wild card game with the winner going to Toronto. Uh, in the South, we've got the Braves with a game lead on the Rays, two games back or two games ahead of the Rangers. Again, if the season were to end right now, it would be Rangers at Rays in the South Division wildcard game with the winner traveling to Atlanta. In the North, we have the Pirates with a three-game lead on the Reds, four games up on the Indians. Uh, we'd be looking at an Indians-Reds wildcard with the winner going to Pittsburgh. And then in the uh, West, very tight, uh, Giants lead the Rockies and Angels by one. Uh, the Rockies and Angels would, uh, there would be a, a tiebreaker scenario to determine who would host that wild card game. And then the winner of that would face the Giants. And in the playoffs this year, the East is facing the South at the table, uh, North versus West at, at the table. Uh, the table is basically our final four. Um, so that's what the standings look like right now. Uh, a couple more things, and I'll let you go. Uh, trivia is coming in about four weeks. Um, I'm going to start reaching out to the Game 1 participants uh, probably tonight or tomorrow. and We, we want to try to get that on the calendar. Uh, we're probably looking at uh, Tuesday nights, uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll try to make it so that uh, it works for everyone, but I want to try to be consistent on the days because I'll be working uh, either early mornings or, or nights uh, starting in the next couple weeks. So I'm going to reach out to you guys very soon to get that on the calendar. Also, All-Star Games are coming in two weeks, uh, Friday, June 26th, June 27th. Start looking for ballots in the form of polls tonight. Uh, you guys won't be voting on every single thing, but uh, it's going to be kind of random like we did in uh, spring training when we determined, you know, opening day starters, fifth starters, closers, stuff like that. Uh, you guys will have a say in a lot of it. You'll also have say in who starts once we have the roster determined. The roster is probably going to be determined in the next seven to ten days. And then... Uh, you know, in the, the five or six days leading up to the All-Star game, you guys will have say in who starts those games. And uh, same thing, it's going to be East versus South uh, in the late game on that Saturday night, North versus West in the early game, and then the winners play on Sunday. Uh, I'll start uploading baseball cards again later today, probably, you know, five, three to five a, a day. Try to get uh, Series 1 of the set completed by the All-Star game. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, oh, uh, two weeks from today is the debut of the Utopian Cafe. Uh, it's not going to be too much different from what we're doing uh, on the reports, but uh, the reports, we give you all the scores, all the highlights. You're going to get those at night like you normally do in the form of a write-up. And then the next morning, we're just going to talk highlights. We're not going to, we're not going to go over every score. You'll see it. You'll see everything on the bottom. Um, but we're just going to, we're going to talk about kind of highlights from the previous day. We're going to preview the uh, current day. We'll do birthday shout outs. We'll do uh, welcomes for new members. Uh, we're going to have guests, uh, not every day, but we're going to have guests as, as often as we can. Um, for now, it's going to be a morning show, 7 a.m., but depending on what kind of job I get, um, whether I'm working early mornings uh, or evenings, it'll depend on if that stays at 7 a.m. Uh, my goal is to work early mornings from like 5 to 9, 5 to 8. Uh, so we might move it to like 11 o'clock or, you know, noon, something like that. So we'll see. 
uh, Utopian Cafe, but uh, that's coming in two weeks. Um, I think that's it then. Um, I'll get you a firm time uh, for the Board Ninjas Woodworking Game tonight. Uh, like I said, I, I feel like that's going to be a little bit later. Um, Utopian Baseball Universe Report will be probably after that, so a little bit later tonight. Uh, and we'll see you later. Have a good one.